Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, and what a great passage we have for you today. One of my favorite in the Bible. I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's often read at funerals, uh, memorials. Why? Because it's so good, and it's true. That's the great part of it. This is actually true. I, I, I got to tell you, you know, last Yesterday, we studied at the end of chapter 20, and we read about Satan and his followers being cast into the lake of fire. And then we come to Revelation 21. This is the chapter from here on. This is our future. In fact, I got to tell you, I, I kind of feel like a realtor today. A realtor? Yeah. You know why? Because I'm going to show you your new home. Your new home. And it's a great one. Let me read all about it. We're going to read the first five verses today and dig into those. I'll read it, and then I'm going to go back and talk about what, well, just think of what it's going to be like for you. Apostle John says, verse 1, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. Now we're going to dig into that a little bit later in chapter 21. Just because there's no sea doesn't mean there's not big bodies of water called what? Lakes. If you've ever been to Lake Michigan or anything like that, it's like a sea, isn't it? So there'll be, there'll be big water, bodies of water. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order, order of things has passed away. Verse 5, he was seated on the throne, said, I am making everything new. And then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. So, did you see what, what's coming and why this is like the easiest sales pitch in all of realtor history? <laughs> Your new home is going to be perfect in every way. Hey. The neighborhood's going to be perfect. In fact, it's going back. It's going to be very much like the Garden of Eden. Not necessarily in not having other things, but in the fact that it's perfect. You know, the Garden of Eden, prior to sin, was ideal. And where you and I are going to be living, because there is no sin, is ideal. You're going to have good neighbors. How, how can you not? You're going to have really good neighbors. In fact, they're going to be perfect. They're living sinless lives. They're going to care about you. They're going to want to bless you. And you're going to want to bless them. You're going to have a great house. How do I know that? Hey. Remember, Jesus said himself, I go before you to prepare a place for you. Jesus himself is preparing your, your residence. It's probably done by now, <laughs> I would think. But the house is going to be perfect. And then you're going to live in a place, a country, you could call it a country, that has perfect, what, government. <laughs> no, no more of the politicians that put themselves first or 
or grab for power or grab for money. No. Our king will be the perfect person. God himself, Jesus, our Messiah. It's going to be a perfect place. You're going to have perfect health. We don't have to talk about, oh, my knee hurts today, or I have a headache, or any of those things. We, you know, I've had a lot of replacement parts put in and uh, things mended. No more of that. Perfect health. Wow. Wow. It's amazing that, uh, that this is true. Now, every one of those things that I mentioned, if you dig into that passage, is there to behold no more death, no more sin, no more, no more of the bad things of life. Where is this? Now, he says, this is the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven. To where? I just ask you. When John saw that Jerusalem coming down out of heaven, where? It's to earth. It's to earth. It's the only logical answer to that. And so... I just encourage you to think of, uh, there's every reason to believe that it's this earth, that it's not some other earth that, that God is going to create and then throw all of this away. I got to read uh, one passage where this is, Jesus himself makes this so clear. And it's in, and, and I encourage you to, to, to uh, read it. Uh, it's in Matthew chapter I'm turning in a book that I encourage you to read, All Things New by John Eldritch. I've preached on this uh, in our night of worship. It's on YouTube under Inspiration for Today, episodes, season two, episodes 37, 38, and 39. So the Bible, when you open your eyes, it's really clear that earth is going to be renewed and perfect, like the Garden of Eden. In, in uh, Matthew chapter 19, at verse 28, Jesus himself, in answer to, to a question uh, from one of his apostles, I think it was Peter, he said, I truly, I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man sits on his glorious throne, everyone who has left his brothers and sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or child, will receive a hundred times as much. Now, when, where is he going to be sitting on his glorious throne? We just read it, didn't we? When the earth is restored to its original state in terms of sinlessness. And that word renewal that Jesus uses comes from a, a compound Greek word that basically means again and beginning. Literally, he says, at the beginning again. That's when he will be sitting on his throne. I encourage you to think in terms of that. It's, it's so amazing when you do. And by the way, in verse 5 that we just read, back now in Revelation 21, he says, I am making everything new. And if he were recreating everything instead of renewing them, as he said he would do in Matthew, he'd say, I am making all new things. And it's really important. God is very careful with his words. And he says, I am making all things new. We're going to be living on a sinless earth. You know, sin we know caused bad health and death and, and problems. So with all those things gone, this is like, it's, it's all new. It's renewed. Well, whether it was this earth or if he is going to create another earth, Clearly, Jerusalem is there. We're there. God is our leader. We're going to dig into this next week. You're going to be amazed what heaven is going to be like. God bless. See you then. Bye bye. Beautiful day. It's wonderful. This is the day that the Lord.